Bonjour, friends. It's Madame Diaz. Today, I'm going to teach you some stuff about May. In France, we celebrate different holidays. So they're a little bit similar and a little bit different. I'm going to show you my screen and tell you what I mean. And let's make this a lot bigger so you guys can all see. Okay, la fête de Mouguet and la fête du travail are called May Day and Labor Day. We have that kind of in America. We definitely have Labor Day, but we celebrate it at the end of summer. So you might remember that might be the last day just before we start school. And in France, we celebrate that in the beginning of spring. Oh, that seems different, right? The beginning of spring. Let me read all this information I have for you today. I hope you enjoy this. Oh, I'm in the way. The 1st of May is a two-in-one holiday in France. It is both May Day, La Fête de Mouguet, and Labor Day, La Fête du Travail. This springtime tradition and celebration of workers' rights is a major public holiday in France. Oh, I'm in the way again. <laughs> Like Labor Day in the United States, the general population celebrates and schools, post offices, banks, and most businesses are closed. Even the Louvre. Oh, look at that. That's the Louvre. That's in Paris. That's a museum that holds the Mona Lisa. Looks very dark and dreary. Plus, I don't know if you've ever been to Paris, but it's usually raining in springtime, just like it is here. It is customary to give bouquets of lily of the valley. So that's this plant right here, du Mouguet, as a gesture of friendship, appreciation, or luck to family and friends. Bouquets are often sold on the street by individuals and labor organizations tax-free and without needing a license. In more rural areas, that means in the country, near the farms and whatnot, some families pick the flowers to give to family and friends. For those who are superstitious, presenting a lily of the valley with 13 bells may bring extra luck. <laughs> The day is also one of action and often includes parades or demonstrations to campaign for workers and or for human rights. So see all these parades and do you see like the presentation of Muge? I was thinking we can coordinate that with Mother's Day that we celebrate in May here in America. But in France, they celebrate Mother's Day in June. <laughs> So it's a little different, but we'll do an activity in a second. Oh, I'm on top of this guy. Let me move my get myself again. I could go right here. La Fête de la Terre. Ooh, let's read about that. There are several stories about the origin of France's May Day customs. Some go back as far as Celtic, Tree of May, and the Renaissance, Fête de la Terre. One wildly held belief dates to 1560, when the King of France, King Charles IV, was presented with Du Mouguet by the knight named Louis de la Gerard de Maison Fort. The king enjoyed the gift so much, he began to present the ladies of his court with flowers each year on the 1st of May. Well, that's nice. The French Labor Day was inspired by uh, 1886 strike in Chicago, where 35,000 workers walked out of their jobs and led a national movement for an eight hour work week. Oh, work day, sorry, week. <laughs> a few years later, France established their own Labor Day with the same intentions. It became a paid holiday on called Un Jour Ferrié, which literally means our day off, our day off. So this started in 1941. And then these are all our workers. So we see people who are working in the hospital, working outside, working in classrooms. 
working in offices, working on stage sets or, or concert sets, oh, in the restaurant, on buildings, building things. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, in cafes, serving people, people working there, like handing out bread. And no matter what, it, oh, I'm in front of this. Sorry. Let me read that for you. No matter its origins, May Day is a wonderful way to welcome the spring and appreciate your family, friends, and colleagues. We wish you a happy and lucky day. So let's talk more about this. 